This is number 21 from the MAT 1033 final exam review. It asks us to determine whether the pair of lines is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. It gives us negative 12x plus 3y equals 7 and 4x minus y equals 8. So by looking at this, we know parallel lines have the same slope. We know perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal slope. Remember that opposite means one has to be positive, one has to be negative. Reciprocal means flipped. And then neither if it's neither the same or opposite reciprocal. So we have to find out the slopes and look at the slopes and to see if they're parallel or perpendicular. So in order to find the slopes for this problem, we have to change both of these into slope-intercept form. Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So that way we can see the m value, which is the slope. So notice y equals mx plus b. That's the form we're trying to get it into. So it has y equals. It's solved for y. So we're going to do that with both of our equations. I want to get y by itself on one side of the equation. So to get y by itself, I first have to move this negative 12x over. In doing so, I added 12x to both sides. So that way, negative 12x plus 12x goes to 0. They cancel. And we are left with 3y equals 12x plus 7. So notice I want it to be mx plus b, so I put that x term first. Last but not least, we need to get rid of this 3 to solve for y. That 3 is being multiplied to y, so we're going to do the opposite, and we're going to divide both sides by 3. Notice we divided this whole side by 3, so doing the same thing to the other side, this whole side gets divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 goes to 1, so they cancel each other out. Again, both of these terms will be divided by 3. So we're left with y equals 12 divided by 3x plus 7 divided by 3. So y equals 12 divided by 3 is 4x plus 7 over 3. So I only care about the slope, so mx plus b, so I see that this slope is 4. This slope is 4. Doing the same thing to the other equation. 4x minus y equals 8. Again, trying to get m, trying to get y by itself so that we can find m. So I need to get this 4x the other side. It's a positive 4x, so we need a negative 4x. So we have we need to subtract 4x. 4x minus 4x goes to 0. Those cancel out. And we're left with negative y equals negative 4x plus 8. That 8 is positive, so we need to keep it positive. Again, I want it to be mx plus b, so I want the x term to be up front. Last but not least, I need to get this y by itself. So there's a negative that's being multiplied to it, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 goes to positive 1. Those cancel each other out. Dividing this whole side, we're going to divide each term by that negative 1. So we're left with y equals my negative 4 divided by negative 1, x, and my positive 8 divided by negative 1. That will leave us with y equals negative 4 divided by negative 1 will give us positive 4, x, 8 divided by negative 1 will give us negative 8. So now it's in slope-intercept form of y equals mx plus b. So I know that my m value for my second equation is 4. So I don't care about the b value. I'm just worried about the slope. We're just worried about the m. So if you notice, they are both m equals 4. They are the same slope. They are the same thing. Same slope. So that tells me these two lines are parallel. Parallel. And that's number 21 for the MAT 1033 final exam review.